What's up, guys? Welcome back. We are back with some more Mobile Legends, and we've got a brand new thing we are calling the Mobile Legends Update Podcast. We have with us ASK Vell and Rumbly Superset. What's up, guys? What's, What's it going? going on? We are basically about to take a look at the update the update the <laughs> update patches for 1.1.80 and it's it's got a lot to it a lot of changes especially for mages uh right out the gate we got aurora we already know the price was 24k battle points 499 diamonds and she's on sale for 30 percent which will equal to about 349 diamonds for her background story aurora born in a windstorm and with a powerful and controlling ice storm is the queen of the northernmost land nos gaul the dominator of the frozen sea and the guardian of the land of dawn although they are on this northernmost land aurora never had any interest with the conflicts between franco and bane she was born powerful and extraordinary as one of the four guardians of the land of dawn she undertakes all those responsibilities of protecting the world protecting its border and ensuring its safety from the space-time rifts and monsters during a horrible plane fight aurora lost one arm along with her guardian knight after this experience, the young queen became solemn and cold, silent and full of sorrow. And when she's hiding, when she's riding on the wind, travels, there's only snow and ice keeping her company. Now, we did go over skills as well in both of our videos, Bill and myself. Uh, Pride of Ice, of course, is our passive. Each time her skill is released, one unit of frost energy will be added to a hero. When four units of frost energy is collected, the next skill damage will freeze the target and skills that cause extra magic damage to the frozen target. So the A ability, which is our first skill, fires for a frost energy missile. When it hits an enemy, it will detonate and deal magical damage and slow down the enemies. Her second ability, Bitter Frost deals magic damage to the target with additional small scale slowdown effect and her ultimate being Coldness Destroy. It summons a giant icy rock to bombard a designated target location. All enemy heroes will be hit and slowed down and receive magic damage. Now surrounding enemies of the target location where the rock lands will also be slowed down and receive magical <laughs> damage. Wow. That's a lot of CC. That's a mouthful. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so... About this chick, uh, the background story is pretty interesting for one. It ties her into kind of Bane and Franco, which are the only two other characters that we know of are from this land that they call Nos Gaul. Mm -hmm. And we're yep. starting to actually learn a little bit more about the story of what they're creating this game is becoming. Like, they're, they're, they're tying people together. These newer characters are falling in and tying into like some of the older characters like Bane. Uh, Bane's from Nos Gaul. Bane's at some type of war with Franco. So these two don't get along, but it also states like she's not in this conflict. So she's out there by herself. Yeah, and that's one thing that I actually find pretty interesting about this is that when I first joined the Mobile Legends community, I asked the developers, yo, are you gonna have like storylines? Are these characters gonna be related to each other? Are they gonna connect in any way? And I was told, no, they're focusing on competitive and stuff like that but it seems like they're actually taking the direction of this more into connecting the characters a little bit more and giving us that attachment because I feel like the Mobile Legends community, I know myself included, we're like becoming engulfed in the characters. We want to we want to know more about them. We want to feel more for them. Kind of like you see in the um, Overwatch community. That's something that we really want. We, we're interested in the characters. We're interested in the skins and stuff. Like, so this was this is becoming a big deal, and I think the developers are actually taking a right step, implementing more of these relationships into the game. Yeah, definitely the immersive uh, aspect of it is really nice because they do the same thing in like Vainglory, where they have a lot of lore-oriented content, and even though it's not really directly influencing gameplay, like it really affects how the player feels about the character and how much he wants to play that character. So it's really cool to see them doing that in this game too. Yeah, yeah that's draws right. them, it draws them more to the characters. Mm -hmm. um, also, like in that it stated, she's like one of four guardians of the Land of Dawn. Now, I'm assuming land, the Land of Dawn is like this certain area in this place that they're at. Mm -hmm. uh, I haven't done complete research on the background stories, but, you know, it, it's saying she's only one of four. So this could possibly lead to hints that there are possibly going to be three more guardians that they could release. Yeah, and that's going to be dope. It, it would actually be sick is if they um, release these guardians and they're like all four different roles. And if you select each of them, they have some type of 
quadra ability that they can do to the other team or something. <laughs> Sounds something okay. like that would be crazy. <laughs> kind of ultimate, ultimate. <laughs> Some Kame Kame. Yo, <laughs> yo, I would love it. That that would be really dope. And as far as her skills go, like she, she falls in with you know anything you would think of as ice. You know, slowing somebody down and helping control them. And that's what she's gonna do. She's gonna do a lot of damage and just slow people. It'd be it'd be cool if they introduce like some sort of voice lines that are only active, like only apply when they're nearby each other, like the guardians. So like in game, yeah. you can hear them talk to each other, like it's kind of like just playful talk. Yeah, that that like, would like be they amazing. Have conversations back and forth. Yeah, that would be really cool. I don't think I've ever really seen that in a mobile style. No, game. it'd be really cool. No, nope. uh, they actually first I, I first saw that in like um, Overwatch actually. I've compared it to Overwatch yeah. a lot because I actually like that game. But yeah, like when um. The hero Anna goes near Reaper. She has a specific voice line, and it's it's crazy seeing that because you know that they have history. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it shouldn't be too hard to do either. I mean, they would just have to add in codes to trigger audio points at certain distances away from each other. Yeah. Yep, and that's huge. That's huge for a game. Yeah, that'd be just huge for interaction and overall make it sound cooler. Facts. All right. So getting on to the rest of this, uh, the next hero rotation and skins. Um, they're looking like Ballman, Akai, Franco, Nana, Karina, Minotaur, Hibusa, and Chow. Of course, the Starlight members, you guys get extra skins. Alice, Adora, Kagura, Alpha, Ruby, and Johnson. And I'm at Heroes, not skins. I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, and they're releasing <laughs> another two weeks again on this. So the next week, you'll have Alice, Saber, Clint, Lolita, Adora, Sun, Kagura, and Natalia. And Starlight members have Nana, Fanny, Minotaur, Chow, Ruby, and Cyclops in that one. It looks like that one almost kind of just reverted a little bit. Really? Yeah. So the Starlight members, most of those are in this upcoming week's regular rotation. So mm. you might be oh, able yeah. to find a pattern with that. And also, Chow, he's going to be on sale for a limited time, 30% off. I might actually pick him up because I have not played Chow yet. Yo, I'm actually excited about this one because for once, I'm a freaking Starlight member thanks to the new Moscow skin. So yeah, yeah that, that's dope. I picked I that one up immediately. <laughs> yeah, that's a must get in Mobile Legends. If you're a Mobile Legends fan, you got to get that. And of course, the uh, new hero skin for Aurora, the Nature's Throne, 269 diamonds. Not bad for a brand new character's uh, skin, honestly. Yeah. Yeah. I'm just mad that it, it really, I thought based on the little background that they gave with her, I really thought that she was going to be elemental based. Like I thought we were going to see some, like her abilities switching from ice and to um, earth. earth. Yeah. But That'd yeah, be it's cool. just, yeah, they, they just the made same, it icy still. I had the same thought because when we saw that footage of that skin and then she just still raises up the same icy throne, I was, I was a bit disappointed because I mean, she's got all the vines, the leaves and, the you know the earthy elemental look it would have been really cool to see them have like some kind of earth golem you know behind the throne and you know like a i don't know a dirt something cool kind of throne with vines yeah. and stuff mm -hmm. all over it you know more immerse themselves in the you know the skins as well instead of just singling out just a single target do they know what yeah, level of skin this is like you know how there's like epic and then like there's like standard skins you know i we haven't got any information on that yet oh, okay. yeah we don't know that just yet but I think that it makes me feel like that they, they just said, okay, this is something that I think looks cool. Let's just give it to her. Let's let's just make that happen. Because yeah, yeah it, it didn't seem like it was too much thought behind that. It looks like they just wanted to get another skin to throw out with it, which I don't have a problem with adding another skin. I just, it kind of don't make sense. And I have a problem with that. It, it, it needs to make sense for me. Yeah, but it's definitely maybe, a missed opportunity dope. for sure. Yeah, they yeah. could have done so, so much better. Like an animation just like, freaking roots coming out of the ground and forming a chair for this skin like that would have been, everybody would have bought this skin yo everybody right, yeah. exactly that. um and i honestly I would, i'd pay double what they're charging for this one if they would have done that yeah exactly exactly um they also are adding in demonstration voices for ruby's new skin the hidden orchard butterfly which just came out today as of when we're recording this so that's pretty cool that skin uh, looks pretty cool too yeah because the the wolf the wolf howl when she used her ultimate with that skin it, it really didn't make much sense because I mean the original <laughs> skin was the wolf <laughs> yeah so uh, I don't know what butterflies sound like but I hope hopefully it sounds pretty cool yeah we can only hope all right uh, next we have hero balance adjustments quite a few got some changes uh, let's dig into them see what they got Alice up on the block again blood ode. 
Her initial spell vamp adjusted from 30, 55, and 80 to 40, 60, and 80. So she got more life still from spell vamp at earlier yeah. in, the, uh, <clears throat> in the phase. Yeah, so that's not bad. That's actually, yeah. um, yeah, I don't see that as a problem, um, personally. It's the same on the end, but earlier games, she'll have more spell vamp from it. Mm -hmm. Yep. And, uh, bomb and hero roll adjusted from fighter tank recommended gear sets adjusted oh so um, Ballman's considered a tank now <laughs> subsidiary yeah. tank okay. i guess now uh, avatar primal fury skin has been optimized what is that really uh oh so that's gonna okay. look a little bit better i think that's is that what they did to um like franco and um tigreal or is that like the just a little square image part that's been updated the avatar, I would assume, is just the square image. Yeah. Uh, so it's not gonna, it's not a full overhaul on him just yet, but I'm sure he was in that list actually that we had seen. Oh yeah, uh, yeah, that's right. So he he will be up on the block soon. Chow, they fixed a bug that the skill descriptions of only fast did not match its actual effect. Okay. Hibusa fixed the bug that Hibusa would go invisible when he cast the skill and the target just dies at the same time. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I love that description, dude. That's true. Uh, Lolita, they fixed the bug of unable to specify the direction of her ultimate skill when there's enemy units. Hmm. Now, I believe um, me and Rumley played a good bit. He played with Lolita a good bit. Did yeah. you have any trouble with her ultimate the other day? Like, targeting any certain direction? Uh, I don't know. I'm still new to the game, so I'm kind of just spamming. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But, uh, but, I mean, it's I, I didn't really see an issue, but I guess maybe it's, like, not every time, maybe? I don't know. Uh, right. I think that... Uh... It, um, it just goes up, and you gotta keep it in that direction. Maybe she can turn with it now. Could that be what they're talking about? That would be that be pretty cool. Yeah, if you can turn while it's actually going. Yeah, because I mean, like when even if you're hitting the ultimate, who would just hit something and then point in the direction that no one's there? You see the guy walk behind you. You just keep looking the other way. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, He's so. not there. <laughs> All right, Hilda, hero specialty adjusted to regen slash damage. Hilda is no longer categorized as a tank. No, actually, she still is. That's just her specialty. I'm sorry. Regen okay. and damage now. Okay. Not bad. Okay. Well, I think regen makes sense. That last item. Yeah. Yeah. So, Alpha, they recommended gear has been adjusted on him, and Karina hero poster has been optimized. Yeah, she's one that needed one for sure. Yep. It just didn't match. And, yeah. The next up is battleground spells and gear adjustments. Uh, we got a lot of changes, and a lot of this is focused around mages. Like they had said, uh, we talked about this in the Q and A videos a couple back. I don't know how many back, but we've done so many. But yeah, go check them out. We talked about that then, but they did change a lot with the mage, pretty much overall gear. I mean, concentrated energy, which has the unique spell vamp. Uh, they increased that from 25% to 30%, and they adjusted the price down from 2120 to down to 2020. So you get more spell vamp from it, and it costs less now. Yep, uh, that's a good buff. That that is very good. That, that only concerns me with like somebody like Karina. That yeah, that's that's my biggest concern. All of this stuff that yes, can that, be used that was on my Karina. Thought was like when they said they were about to buff mages and change mage gear, that just immediately processed in my head. Karina is about to become severely <laughs> strong yeah. with all of this because everything is about to get really cheaper from her. She's not going to get any slower. She's still an assassin. She's just going to be doing more damage earlier because she's got cheaper gear now. So they may oh, adjust her. Definitely. So they may adjust her ratios then, in, in accordance to that potentially. Um, yeah. yeah, I would say. I can see that next, coming. Yeah. Next two patches, you'll probably see them going to adjust the uh, out damage output for Karina and try to balance it back out. Right. She's gonna be one that makes everybody rage, and when the community starts to rage, they make changes. So I'm really? definitely gonna be using her at the beginning of this season so while she's <laughs> OP. Not really OP, but while she has like a slight. <laughs> Boost. Statistical oh. advantage. Glorious legend, here I come. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so uh, they changed pretty much a lot of the 
gold on the rest of these. Uh, they did optimize visual effects for one, which was Deadly Blade, the Life Drain, passive on it. Uh, the price adjustments were Enchanted Talesman 1970 to 1870. Uh, Winter Truchin. It looks like all of these have been lowered by just 100 gold. It looks like that's what pretty Give much all take, of them yeah. are. But the rest of them are Winter Truchin, Feather of Heaven, Astral Ward, Frost, Eternal Scepter, Calamity Scythe, Guardian Relic, Flame of Fury, Blood Wings, and Fleeting Time. That's a, that's a decent amount. That's a decent chunk there. Yeah, so overall, that set, I mean, if you're building into a full mage set, you're saving immediately 600 gold Yeah. overall. Yep. That's so, huge. So they're going to be getting, mage players. They're yeah, be getting that's, stronger that's a, sooner. That's a turtle kill and then yep. some. So if you want to compare it to something, that, that kind of gives you something to compare it to. Mm -hmm. uh, Battleground adjustments, they optimize the floor details of the map around the altars and turrets to make it more suitable to the world concept of Mobile Legends. So they're still optimizing on the map, trying to make it look better. That's cool, though. Yeah, I like that. Then some really big ones are coming, too, so that's going to be really dope. A lot yeah. of changes to the map. See, they optimize the skill mechanism of the Lord. The crowd stun effect now changed to avoidable crowd knock airborne effect, which will allow players to have fun of strategies when fighting against the Lord. That English. Every five attacks from the Lord, <laughs> an energy beam will generate under the feet of his enemies. One second later, it will knock airborne enemies into the beam and deal damage to them. What? What? <laughs> what? what is that? This is wait, crazy. Wait. He just for to be knocking people in the air. I like this. Yeah. Did, so it, did, did they get? They got rid of the crowd stun, and it's instead of the whole stun. Now he slams the sword in the ground. It's a beam that comes up under you. I'm assuming you have one second to dodge this beam. So if you react fast enough, you can actually dodge it. That's cool. He feels more like a boss now, though. You know. That and yeah. you can actually use that to your advantage when people are trying to steal Lord from you. <laughs> so if he goes to do that, you know. That pops, you just move out of it and somebody runs into it, it pops them up in the air. Then you got the advantage on them trying to gank you. Someone's Jason, you just love tap the Lord <laughs> and he just beams them. <laughs> yeah. Help me out here. <laughs> Yo, it's gonna be amazing. I actually like this. Uh, and they did adjust the attack range on Lord and Turtle. They dropped it from five down to three point three. So they almost cut it in half. That's good though, because they actually had like a studied range, which didn't make sense visually. Yeah, had a really, really, really far range. That was quite a move. Uh, system adjustments. Friend system optimized. This optimization is for Android system, and the moment iOS users need to wait for the next update. Sorry, Bill. God damn. <laughs> <laughs> well, luckily, I but, just got an Android, so. I just got rid of mine. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But they mm -hmm. optimized the loading method of the friends list in the inbox. Now players can scroll list up and down more smoothly. Thank you. Oh my goodness. <laughs> That's that good. has been so annoying to try to scroll through that list and it just lag out and you're not be able to do anything. The ease of life update, nice. Added the blacklist feature to Facebook friends. That's cool. Uh, now players can go to the inbox, Facebook friends, and their Facebook friends to the blacklist. Cons consequently, they will show in the blacklist instead of Facebook friends list. You won't receive messages or invitations from them. Or, of course, of course, you can cancel the block in the blacklist to allow them to show up again in your friends list. Okay, that makes sense. So you can block people that's on your Facebook friends if you're connected with your Facebook. Yeah. Keep makes people sense. from spamming. Uh, they optimize the following interfaces to make them brand new. The heroes list, the shop page, and recharge page. That's okay, nice. Okay, so three pages got revamped on the interfaces. Yeah, getting some nice new UI. Yeah, it's good to see something some better looking things because yeah they've been doing they've been going crazy with the visuals honestly I, I can give them that and i'm happy to see that it's been a long time coming it's good they're finally doing it now if they fix the lag i'll be happy i agree i agree they optimize display of arabic language uh, they can't speak it can't read it so yeah if, it, if you do that helps uh they optimize the live stream system so this thing i've still not completely figured out yet i don't think me or bill or rumbly have either but <laughs> the languages category added now have the system now the system will classify the live streaming according to players system language i like that 
adds tags including hot new girl streamer and the world best there you go so okay, dash where this one is going uh, our devs are obviously famous that they brought in the girl streamer for you so dash all right no, all right we can, we can get some more now <laughs> <laughs> they improved the rule of recommendations for live streams recommendations will be made according to popularities for streamers today's popularities will be calculated a new day every day According to streamers, daily views, gifts received, and newly gained followers. Hmm. So you're pretty much, it's it's starting to become like YouTube. Uh, whoever gets the most the interactions is going to get the most clout. Uh, so that's pretty much what that means. Yep. Improve the director perspective in the live stream. Now the view of spectators is the same as it is of the streamer. It, I've never used it, so I didn't know it was any different. Uh, also, live streaming spectating optimized after s after sending flower jewelry, players can click on the gift and send items consecutively within the countdown time of combo. Okay, still not sure what that is. Optimize the visual effects for the different layers for scrolling the chat messages and gift sending messages, and they optimize the rule chat messages sending. Now players are not allowed to send the same messages consecutively. No more spam. Yes. Yes. That's, that, nice. that's always good. <laughs> so yeah, that's that's a lot. That's a big <clears throat> update, guys. Really, like a lot bigger than what you kind of noticed a pattern in the past couple updates. Uh, have I, I've been the only one that's noticed that, Bill. Which pattern is that? Well, you get a character and skin in one update with hero balances, and then the next update you're just getting skins and smaller changes. It's not as big. It's giving them more time to put more energy into those bigger updates. Oh yeah, actually, that, that makes a lot of sense now that you pointed out. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, that's probably why they're becoming more productive. They actually have a pattern, and it's not as random as it was when we first. Yeah, when, I, when starting, I first joined, definitely. starting to become patterned. There's a system that they're starting to get down a lot better as far as everything. Even with their content, social media, and stuff like that, it's becoming better over time. Now, there's probably yeah. a question that everybody's probably wondering is, like, when is the actual release of this update? Or expected release? Actual release, I can go ahead and say it's not going to come any further than next Monday. Which mm -hmm. The date on next Monday would be the 8th of May. So, so that is that. the earliest we're going to see oh, it. Oh, earliest, the gotcha. Uh, the latest is going to be is the 10th of May. So anywhere between May the 8th and May the 10th, that's when this update will go live. Very nice. Do uh, you guys have anything else to add? Nah, that's pretty much it. We've um pretty much covered everything. Plus, I'm still sick, so I'm trying not to talk a lot, but <laughs> yeah. All right, well, that's going to pretty much wrap it up for the very first episode of the Mobile Legends Update Podcast. Uh, if you guys enjoyed this conversation, if you want to be a part of this conversation, you can do so in the comments below because we will be reading them. Uh, we'll be also checking up on Vel as well in his comments. I'll be there as well. So make sure you comment. Make sure you like the video because it does help us out a lot. And yeah, that's going to be it for this video, guys. Thank you all so much for watching. As always, like, comment, and subscribe. I'm Soulbash. I'm Vel. And I'm Rumbly. <laughs> you guys have a nice day. Peace out. Later. Detective.